Hello everyone, Laura K. Buzz here, and welcome to another episode of me reacting to Haruro Musuka, Wandering Sun, the anime that I binged in a single evening when I was 17 and came out as trans that same day because, oops, I feel seen. Um, we're going to try and crack through this pretty quickly today because we have hit the point in the year where my schedule gets very, very busy, all of the big video games are releasing that I need to have opinions on, and video games that I got to work on are starting to come out. Uh, check out the video on this channel where I talk about the fact that I did accessibility consulting on Life is Strange Double Exposure. That's pretty cool. Uh, needless to say, I'm pretty chaotically busy, so we're going to jump into this episode and just start watching. Okay, so I assume this is the, uh, the, the two sports teams sharing the court that we saw from previous episodes. Uh, the netball and basketball. Starting tomorrow, you'd better wear a bra. Yeah, okay, yeah, this will be this will be the sports teams. I've never seen anyone look so shocked. Isn't she laying it on a little thick? Hey, Takatsuki. It makes it seem like it's the end of the world. And there's that one. That's so funny. Was the comment about you need to start wearing a bra? Starting with tomorrow's practice, was that it, Takatsuki? If so, that would explain the uh, the reaction, I think. Oh, Romeo and Juliet. F fuck. Um. <laughs> okay, I am suddenly remembering what the whole point of this series of anime is. Uh, <laughs> considering how much this show impacted me, I cannot believe I forgot such a fundamental part of what the point of this show is um from what i remember the whole point of the the whole thing this season is 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 about to start building up to for its next i guess nine ten episodes is um a school production of romeo and juliet is going to be happening but it's a gender flipped version and our two trans protagonists are going to be maybe playing the leading roles uh <laughs> gosh yeah um Yes, it's going to be a, oh no, I have to dress up as a, as a woman. School, it's a school assignment, I have to do it. Uh, it's definitely not because I'm trans. Um, gosh, yeah. Um, as someone that found excuses to cosplay uh, female characters and trans characters, while not yet out as trans, uh, that definitely is feeling familiar. Um... There's an anime, uh, there's an anime called Oron High School Host Club that, um, the main character, Haruhi, um, her dad, quote-unquote, very much appears to maybe be a trans woman. Um, is referred to as Haruhi's dad, but present, presents clearly very much as a woman. I may have cosplayed Haruhi's dad as part of a group cosplay with a bunch of friends who were cosplaying Oron High School Host Club characters as a funny, definitely funny joke, and not just as an excuse to wear a nice, you know, middle-aged woman outfit. Uh, you know, the, the things you say yes to for gender. Gosh. I know it's early to ask, but is there anything you'd like to do for the cultural festival? Yeah, this is this is going to be most of the season, isn't it? Huh. I want to do a cafe, a haunted house. Nice and easy. Chiba. Oh, of course. Oh. We. I think we should do a gender bender play. The boys play the girls' roles, and the girls play the boys' roles. Of course, the friend, the 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 cis person who has two two trans friends. Like, are you suggesting this purely to be like, I think we should find an excuse for my two trans friends to be able to be trans on stage. <laughs> oh no, what a, what a travesty that we might, we might be forced to do agenda flipping. Part of me was wondering whether it was going to be, um... Whether it was going to be our character who showed up in a boy's uniform in episode one was going to be the one to suggest the play. Now, uh, we're not going to we're not going to see the votes. Okay, I wanted to see whether either of our trans characters would vote in favor of the gender play, or whether they would not vote for it out of like, oh no, I'm not ready. 
We should go all out. Bind our chests and everything. You sure know a lot. You 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 know about bind binders. Like this was the first I became aware of like the idea of trans men and binders was was this. Yeah. Nervous to dress up as girls. Sorry, I'm just realizing. Um let me scroll back a few seconds. How again, how did I not know that uh Nitori's bestie was also also comes out as a trans woman? You nervous to dress up as girls? Look how excited both of them are. Like Like, yeah, okay, yeah. Nerd nerdy glasses friend, of course I should have seen that. Oh, we're definitely nervous about it, too. Uh. Hey, we shouldn't bother walking home with someone like her. I hate your guts. And I don't care for you either. Huh. Okay, that feels a little abrupt. I'm I'm very curious. I'm very curious when we'll get a get an explanation on that. I'm not immediately clear why that is. Okay, so... Pictures for the modelling shoot. Okay, yeah, so this would be... Yeah, Nitori's sister. Sorry, I need to make a phone call. There's so many large stretches of this show that completely have evaded my memory. Promise that you won't get mad. You're not gonna try, why don't you quit? Why did you tell her? She was gonna find out eventually. A boyfriend is one thing, but planning to meet up with him after the shoot. Okay. It's not that I'm not serious about this job, but I'm not sure how I should handle this. Isn't that what friends are for? To be honest, I wanted to ask you. I thought I'd sound like I was bragging. Oh, the politics of being a teen. Why did you tell Tamaki? Because she got a boyfriend before me. You seem to hate boys. <laughs> so I just... How's it going, Shu? I'm almost done. Hey, school to school today announced that we're doing a gender flip play. Hello, my trans friend. I must call. I have feelings, possibly. It's nothing important. Just felt like calling. You're such a good kid. I'm so bad at that stuff. Right. Say, about the play. Oh, I just felt like talking. I just felt like catching up and talking. Anyway, about this play... It's definitely not what I was calling about, but while we're here, let's talk about that play. Yeah, the gender bender play. You should write it. That's not true, you write really well. And you know how to come up with good stories. You definitely have the talent. It'll be fine. Gosh, yeah. Hey, I'm going to encourage you. 
you have experience with flipping with with uh you know flipping flipping genders from what is expected maybe you would have some personal experience from which to write a personal experience narrative you should write a story and put it out in front of everyone so your feelings about gender become public consumption i'm sure that will be a healthy part of your gender journey and not a thing that you look back on as an adult and go god i put a lot of myself out there huh I think it's sweet. I think it's a sweet idea and concept. Um, it's a it's a lot of pressure to put on someone who isn't really sure how to how to tackle for someone who isn't really sure how to present their feelings to themselves or to the world yet about gender. It's a it's a lot to suggest. Maybe you channel those feelings into something your whole school will see before you're ready to really talk about the fact that it's about you. But it might be a good out. Honestly, it might be a good outlet for like working through stuff. Is write write story and then realize that what you're writing maybe is indicative of how you actually feel, and maybe that'd be a good part of your journey. Oh, I can't sleep. The lights on. I'm too tired. I need total darkness to sleep properly. Gender bender play. Gender bender, gender bender. For instance, one day all of the men and the women in the world twitched places. I don't know many trans people who haven't at some point growing up had that 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 one go through their head. What if we just woke up tomorrow and everyone swapped and I just I was a girl. I I just woke up and was a girl tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't that be a thing? People would be worried. Or not worried at all. Yeah, 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 that is one of the things that this show did really make me think about was should, should I, should I take seriously the fact that if everyone in the world woke up having their gender swapped tomorrow, most people would probably be panicking or going this, something's wrong, what happened, we need to change this back, and my response to that happening would probably be delight, relief, uh, a feeling of rightness, and I should probably think about why that is. Again, this is the kind of thing I'd never said out loud to anyone in my life, and then this show says the thing, and I had to sit there at 17 and go, someone else has had that thought and come to the same conclusions as me. Oopsie. <laughs> I already decided that we should just be friends. You have a slight fever. I've got the chills. Oh no, not you two. You don't have a fever though. You just stayed up all night. I'm the one who's... You can rest a bit longer and go late. Yeah, yeah, the... I ha I sat and started thinking about gender um, through the lens of narrative, and then I stayed up all night and didn't get any sleep because that question kind of fucking broke my brain. This is how I felt on the night I came out. Um, the... Oops. Can't put that connection between narrative and how... I feel about myself. I can't put that back in the bottle. It's out now. Uh, feeling sick, feeling anxious. Oh, friend. Oh, I'll keep you out of the sun. Oh, you're adorable. You're lovely. I'll let the teacher know. 
Yeah, I don't even know if this is... How much of this is exhaustion, how much is sickness, how much is just... I need a minute to process, um... Feelings and thoughts happened. Oh, hey, Takatsuki. What's wrong? Nothing serious. Nothing serious. Excuse me. Yes, yes. Someone twisted her ankle during morning practice. I run to the tennis court. Oh, are you going to be... Are you going to have a couple of minutes alone in the nurse's office to... Work out feelings. Well, would you ever... Want to wear a bra? That was a weird question, sorry. Yeah, I feel like this is Takatsuki having to wrestle with. I'm not sure I want to, but would you want to? Yeah. I don't want to wear a bra. I wish I was flat like you. I'm jealous. You shouldn't be. I think you're... What's wrong? Yeah, one of my one of the first like trans people I knew IRL was a trans man. Um, my partner at the time I came out um, had an ex who was a trans man, and there's a weird kind of solidarity that comes from like I wish my body was like yours, and you wish yours was like mine. And neither of us is in a position where that's going to happen anytime soon. But we at least understand each other in the... There's nothing inherently wrong with with the body, with the bodies. It's just that yours was meant for me and mine was meant for you. And that's weird. Like, there's there can be some jealousy built up in that. But there's also a solidarity of knowing what that's like. Okay, I did a lot of thinking about the gender bender play. Yeah, you decided to write it. Actually, just now I got the idea to write about girls who want to be boys and boys who want to be girls. Yeah. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, no, Nichiri 100%. Yeah, you, you see why, you see why, like, it starts as, like, the daydream about what if magically everyone swap genders and very quickly that thought process becomes hey what if we just talked about the fact that some people want to transition and that that's a thing and i i know i've said this before but i, I really want to reiterate this before watching this show all i had seen in terms of like even kind of trans woman representation and stuff was like evil villains, deceitful, mm, evil people, or punchline to a joke. I'd never seen trans people taken seriously as, like, just people who just wanted to live differently than how they did currently. And, as I say, I know that, like, 15 years later, like, today, there's so much good trans rep starting to happen in various forms that, like, this, as out of t out of date and and you know messy with its wording and explanations as this is you can see i hope why this was so groundbreaking to me it was saying things that n at least where i was looking no one was saying so before i forget <sighs> if you're feeling better, go back to your classrooms. That's a wonderful idea, Nichirin. I don't know enough about Japanese um, gendering of terms to know whether the difference between Nichiri and Nichirin, with an N at the end, is a gendering thing, but I feel like... Um, Nitorine with an N at the end feels like it's maybe a feminizing of the name. 
if anyone knows and can talk about that in the in the comments, that would be great, and I'll talk about it next episode. But it feels like it's a sort of fem nick, uh, like a femming of. Uh, it's slightly longer, so it's not a nickname, but you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, there's a junior looking for you. How's your sister doing? She has a slight fever, but it's not serious. Oh, is this the boyfriend? Can I drop by later to visit? Sure. They seemed a little sick. Mm, I don't trust men. Or maybe... His voice is changing. Uh, ease, you're so slow, Nitorin. Sooner or later we'll have to face the dreadful period of puberty where our voices change too. Again, glasses, glasses, friend. How did I not, how did I not see you were trans as well? You're talking about the dreadful period of puberty where our voices change too. Uh, like, you clearly are dreading it just as much as our, our main character here. Yeah, if you're gonna write a play, if you're gonna write a play for, um, a, about transness, writing it at a point where you are about to start undergoing changes from puberty that you're terrified of, there, there's a lot of fucking raw material to dig from there. But also, I, I've seen what we've just paused on. It's practice for the play. Every trans person said something to this effect at some point. Um, I want to talk about, I'm going to briefly talk about the first time that I, um, in front of other people, presented as a woman. I was, like, 16 and in sixth form, and I swapped f clothes with a friend of mine who ultimately came out later as a trans man. Um, we swapped clothes, and I went to their, uh, art class, uh... As a funny joke, it was it was a funny joke. It was a social experiment to see if anyone would would notice or like. It was a thinly veiled excuse. It was my it's practice for the play. Um, it was the first time I used the name Laura. Funnily enough, um, but yeah, it's practice for the play. Besides, we don't know when we're gonna lose our voices. Once our Adam's apples grow and our voices lower, it'll be too late. We need to record ourselves while we still can. How the fuck did I not... How the fuck did I... How the fuck did you being trans not click in my head? Ma'am! Uh, Ma'am! Look, I was... This is three episodes in. I was probably a crying mess doing a lot of self-introspecting already by this point in watching through the show. In hindsight, this is hilarious. We don't need to dress up like girls to do this. <laughs> That's only to justify our actions. The point is that we're doing what we love. Let's get changed. Which one do you want? Not that you were ever against the idea. Oh, singing. How? How? How did you... <laughs> The thing, look, I was too focused on Nitori and having an emotional connection. I did not have room in my head for the existence of two trans women. Two trans women was more than I was ready for. My name is Mako Ariga. My name is... No, that won't do. You need to get in the spirit. Act more feminine. And use your sister's name for now. That seems like a terrible idea, considering how much your sister already is not handling your transness well. Oh god, the... I'm bracing. My name is Maho Nitori. What are the two of you doing? God, I feel so... So painfully uncomfortable, and this is going to be the boyfriend showing up. Oh, 
してろとか出ろとか行こうニトリンお,お前は出るなあいやいや dealing with family members who aren't ready for other for other people to know that transness is going on like hey I'm not gonna necessarily hate on you in private but like other people cannot know yeah this is bringing back some memories I was not quite ready for What are you? Why? Why not just have the tell the other tell tell you two trans gals to go hide in the bedroom, have the sister answer the door and say, "Hey, uh, it's lovely to see you. I'm too ill, um, for this to be long." I'm disturbed by seeing you trying to undress your brother. Go back to bed, stupid. Yeah, yeah, in trying to in trying to untrans your sibling, you made this considerably worse. You saw me acting weird. Just forget about it. I bought some oranges. I'll leave them here. Bye. It must be your fever making you act funny. I... There's something I really like here. That I don't think I ever really appreciated the first time round, which is... This boyfriend that's come round. His response isn't... It was weird that your brother was dressed up like a girl. The response was, you were, were doing something weird by trying to change how, like, trying to undress your brother. It, he perceives, he perceives her as the weird one here. Not our two trans femmes. And that's weirdly affirming. And I'm really curious if that attitude will be consistent and will prompt any kind of change or reconsideration in her. His voice sounded strange. I kissed him yesterday. Maybe he caught my cold. No, your boyfriend is going through puberty. One wanted to become a boy. One wanted to become a girl. Yeah, you can see why my interpretation of this was trans femme and trans mask protagonist, even if apparently that's not how the manga ends up playing out. You know, I again, as I say, I've not read the manga. I'll probably try and get to it after watching through the series. But you see why, the, like, at least 15 years later, phase, hazy memory, that was my interpretation. And at least, like, that's the narrative that stuck with me and was meaningful in my head. Uh, one night the two of them said a secret prayer in their secret place. Oh, this is beautiful. For the girl to become a boy. And the boy to become a girl. Contemporary Romeo and Juliet. I'm impressed to see two entries. I'm not sure if it'll help, but why don't you read each other's? Nitori's original story is probably better. Chiba's modern take on Romeo and Juliet is a story people are familiar with. And it's a lot more interesting. I think both are great. Why don't we combine the strengths of both scripts into one? Oh, hey, you two who haven't spent as much time together since all the transness was going on, having an excuse to spend more time together. Telling us to write a script together so nobody's feelings get hurt. 
That stops working after grade school. No, I don't think he's trying to stop feelings getting hurt. I genuinely think that you both see value in each other's scripts and he wants you to make a script that does the best of both. It's a little uncomfortable. I never said that. Yeah, I think... Mr. Saisho thinks that this is just a compromise. But I refuse to leave it at that when we can create something wonderful. Exactly. Create something wonderful together. This isn't such a good place to talk. Want to come to my house? I won't do anything weird this time. Oh, yeah, because she, she had a crush on Nitori. Sucks to have volleyball and basketball still practice when it rains. I mean, it's indoor. Why would that be a problem? Where's Chiba? Bayorian isn't coming to practice today. Doesn't seem to like volleyball very much. Oh. You're not wearing one. Yeah. Mm. Not wanting to wear a bra and also then being... Uh groped when you're already uncomfortable with your chest existing yeah yeah you are gonna have to deal with this there is a very limited amount of time for you to decide what you're going to do about chest development yeah no that's because i think this is like the thing the, the moment where it becomes clear like there is a big difference between I came to school in a boy's uniform, but ultimately I'm perfectly comfortable with my body developing, you know, via estrogen. And I have gender feelings and I'm not sure whether I'm I'm comfortable with that. And I think that's the thing, is I think I think our character here probably sees like, oh yeah, you're like you're like me. Like maybe you want to dress up in a boy's uniform, but like, yeah, it's it's fine. Doesn't realise like, no, no, I've got a different thing going on. What about practice? How's this and this? I think it would look better on you. I'm gonna try it on. You promise not to do anything weird. I don't think she's doing something weird here. I, I think... Here's the thing. From Nitori's perspective, I can see how, like, if you're not ready, having someone push their femme clothes, clothes uh, extras on you could be a bit like, I'm, I'm, not re I'm not ready for this amount of attention on what's going on. I get that. But also, I have enough distance to see this as a real act of love. Like, I've had cis friends over the years who've been like, Here's a bunch of my stuff that I don't wear that you can just have to see what feels good, see what works style-wise, see what works, to get you started on some clothing options. Um, and to have cis friends who are excited, enthusiastic even, to, to be there for you presenting femme is... It is a real gift, but I can also understand not being ready for that. I appreciate the thought, but is it, I would feel, it would feel weird to dress up as a girl for this meeting. Yeah, because here's, here's the thing, it's, it can be difficult to present femme on and off and outside of context and to feel like now now i'm i'm excited in this i've decided that it would be good for you to be woman now like when you don't have control about when you can present as your gender having other people try and excitedly push those moments on you is a lot because the f the need for a bit of autonomy about that presentation can clash weirdly. Uh, a boy who wants to be a girl. And Juliet is a girl who wants to be a boy. 
How's that sound? I should take notes. Why am I Romeo? Why am I Juliet? After they meet, they go on dates in secret. Just like you and Takatsuki. The perfect fit. As long as that happens, Takatsuki can be Romeo. I was a bit worried about working with Chiba. I'm starting to feel like it'll be okay. A Romeo who wants to be a girl, and a Juliet who wants to be a boy. Oh, you have a binder! Fuck yeah! I recognise what that is! Um... There is every chance I would have just thought this was a sports bra <laughs> at, at the time that I, I I saw this. I as little as I knew about about real world trans women when watching this the first time through, I knew even less about trans men. Oh gosh, yeah. I can't wear this with my chest. Maybe it was a sports bra. It comes across as a binder. I can't present how I want to because of the physical aspects of my body. And that's 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 the big one. Um being uncomfortable with or unable to wear the outfits that are gonna be gender affirming because your body is getting in the way. Um, wonderful thing about having had lower surgery, I can wear leggings and just not think about it. That's really fucking nice. That is one of the most weirdly affirming, affirming things to me, that that's just an option where I just don't have to think about undesirable bits of anatomy getting in the way of clothing items I would like to wear that would be affirming. Um... My variety of outfits I can wear is greatly improved by the fact that I actually have some tits now, as opposed to the fact that I have to, like, I've got to have an outfit that, like, doesn't show too low cut, because the, the chicken fillet bra stuffers will be visible, you know. it Having your body align more with the way you want it to means that you don't have to self-censor your affirming clothing choices. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, that boyfriend's being surprisingly chill. Bra lines. Good morning, Takatsuki. I was really hoping today would be that first day that Takatsuki shows up in the boys' uniform. Like. Nitorine? Oh yeah, it's it's the 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 binder or the sports bra, whatever it is. The not the not a bra. That's that's the thing. It's finding something that can be affirming, or that can at least like do what needs to be done, body wise, while not feeling like an unaffirming choice. And even if Takatsuki's not ready to pair this with the boys' uniform, it's I'm I'm not having those stupid bra lines that are gonna equate girl in my head which i don't want and like i think like regardless of whether this is a binder or not i think it's clear that this is takatsuki trying to find some way to avoid having to make the not affirming choice um takatsuki is wearing one too ha <sighs> Nitri, I, I know how that could be how you interpret it, but I'm like, that's, 
that's not what's going on here. This is, look, there is a reality of the fact that the breasts are happening, and there is a making the the most affirming choice out of the situation. Um, but yeah, gosh, um, that's episode three of Wandering Sun. Again, the, my big takeaways from the episode are friend with the glasses. I owe you so many apologies for not internalizing the fact that you were so clearly also a trans woman, and that that just. I didn't have room to process more than one trans woman existing in the world when I watched it. And that play... That play, I believe, is, like, where this season ends. Like, the the running up to the play is, like, the whole season now. And, yeah, that is now a thing that is going to, A, force Nitori and uh, Takatsuki to confront gender more frequently and think about it more deeply. But also is going to bring gendered presentation into school. And I think if anything is going to break down that barrier of maybe I come to school wearing another gendered uniform and I rip that band-aid off, the gender-bending play is as good a thing to, to build that courage up and to make that, that leap seem less terrifyingly huge or plausible. Um, thank you for watching another one of these. I will be back in two weeks, is the plan, with episode four. Uh, we are about a quarter of the way through right now, and I, um, for all, for all of the problems around, like, language usage and stuff, uh, and lack of clarity of exactly what the story is, is, is trying to communicate in terms of transness, I think there is so much here still that I can see value in, and so much I can look at and go, I understand why this was impactful. And I think that is pretty special. I don't know that everyone who looks back on the thing that was significant to them this long ago gets to go, I still see the value in it. So uh, that's been pretty special. I hope people enjoy continue enjoying uh, watching. I'll be back with another one of these in a couple of weeks. Bye.